Hi, everybody in the studio with us right now, Jeanette McCurdy. Now, if she looks familiar, you know her from the TV show, I, Carly, you play yes. Sam yep. Puckett. Yeah. So, Sam Puckett, Bob Pickett. Eh, a little <laughs> off right there. Nice. I like it. It kind of goes together. <laughs> it does go together. Yeah. So, you are getting ready to launch a recording career yes. in Nashville, capital Nashville. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> how did you how did you get signed? What did you do? I mean, because a lot of people are wondering how yeah. do you make it to Nashville? And you have. It's great. I, it's it's actually it's surreal for me. It doesn't even it seems like it's one continuous dream every day. Um, I don't I've been writing music, you know, I would write little poems and, and put melodies to them right. and and sing them over and over my head and try to remember them since I've been, you know, like 7 8 years old. Um, and I remember my first notebook that had all my songs was this red notebook with an owl on it and I would just write whatever I could think of and um, so I've been into it for a long time and, and I've always loved singing um, and particularly country music and then I was I started really pursuing a, a, a career in, in country music when I was gosh like four years ago now when I was about 13 um, right. and I was old enough to kind of start pursuing it because before then it's it's almost pointless you know you well, can't I remember about a seven. year ago that you had signed the thing with Nashville yeah. like, okay now when's it going to come out so finally yeah. it's getting ready to launch well you know what's awesome I signed on my um, interesting fact I signed on my 17th birthday so um, they they all brought in this big cake and and everybody sang to me and I just thought, I mean what a, that's the coolest birthday present ever. Um, that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I mean it was definitely a lot of hard work though. I think that it can't. It was something that Capital was was great with talking to me about and and you know I wanted to make sure that I I really made the album I wanted to and an album they were happy with and everything and I didn't want to rush anything um, or just like oh let me just pop out an album real quick. So um, I really I mean I co-wrote a lot of songs like almost 70 and then we chose from those um, the songs to cut and, and got some outside songs that I didn't co-write and just tried to really make the album that we thought best represented what you know what I wanted to represent. But the producer you're working with is great I mean your producer is Paul Worley. <laughs> which Paul Worley I mean let me tell you yeah one of the top producers in Nashville. Yeah yeah that was um, amazing I met with him a few times before before deciding that I wanted him to be my producer and just I mean the band that he assembled was the most amazing band and I love them all and really um, just felt so connected with them and was amazed with how much you know knowing the songs from the beginning and how they were so stripped down and then hearing them all finalized and how much the production adds is just really incredible. Now the songs that we just heard a while ago which you'll hear on her debut album you you wrote most of the songs you co-wrote them. Yeah yeah I, mean, I co-wrote most of the songs in the album and then we did a few outside cuts that I didn't co-write um, that I just thought really were cool and I just thought I gotta cut these I love them but, um, yeah, I co-wrote a lot of them. Okay, so obviously you're going to make some videos for the songs. Yeah. How is that acting in a video going to be a little bit different from what you normally do for the comedy? Gosh, that's a good question. I mean, I think, uh, you know, especially with my character I play on the show, I'm very, uh, very kind of rough, rough around the edges and kind of just slopping about. And I think for music videos you have to, you can't be, I can't just be sloppy, like <laughs> <laughs> bobbing around. you got to be... Um, just real into it, but I think that you know both are so emotional that it's definitely. Now you recorded the project in Nashville. Yeah. Were you recognized a lot in Nashville going to the studio? Do people call you Sam, or they call you by yeah. your real name? Well, um, you know, it used to be a lot of Sam, and then it's kind of progressively started getting more and more to be um, Jeanette, which is cool. But hey, I'll, I mean, I'll go by anything; it doesn't <laughs> really matter. Um, but you know, seeing people, I saw a lot of. I went to the mall a lot. In Nashville, and uh, and just walking around the stores and the shops outside and everything, and lots of lots of students from Vanderbilt. So that was really cool. I mean, it's always fun meeting people and, and just talking to them and seeing seeing what they like about the show. It's great. That's cool. So you do obviously you, you have a lot of fans, and let me tell you, yeah. we heard her sing. She's going to have a lot of country music fans too. Now you were exposed to country music at a very early age. It says your press release. Yeah. Patsy Cline. Yeah, my grandma. <laughs> my grandma would walk around the house. I tell everybody she would walk around the house, um, singing Patsy Cline songs. I think she thought she sounded a little more like Patsy Cline than she actually does, but um, we got this on tape. But my grandma's you know cool. My grandma's great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, my grandma. Um, she's very funny. She'll even like sing in her in her sleep. She came with me to Nashville one time, and she was just singing in her sleep. You're cheating hard. It's gonna tell on you. And she has like a little backwards vibrato thing. She's very cool. Okay, now <laughs> you, you're a fan of country music. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can I, is it is it a loaded question if I ask you who your favorite country artist who you're really on no, your iPod? No, I mean I think to the thing I, I love about you know country is just its honesty and and how real it is and how genuine and how every song makes you feel something so strongly. Right. Um, I love I right now I love Keith Urban. Um, 
I, I, lo I think he's so, the, the emotion that he puts into his songs and how, how sensitive he is, um, but at the same time, he's such a rock star. Oh, so cool. You've seen him in concert. Uh, yes, <laughs> just like four times, you know, but uh, I freak out, I still freak out every time I see him. And, um, gosh, I love I love some, uh, you know, a lot of Rascal Flat songs. I love how they do, they can come out with a song like Mayberry, and they can come out with a song like What Hurts the Most, and you totally believe both. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's awesome. And, uh, you know, Car Carrie Underwood and uh, Miranda Lambert, The House That Built Me. Isn't that a great song? Oh, when I heard that song, I just started... Uh, I just I couldn't hold it. Yeah, I couldn't hold it in. It just reminds me so much of, uh, gosh, just the house that I live in, and, and I'm sure everybody feels the same way when they hear the song. But it's just see, I think it's, it's one of the secrets of country music is every every song people can relate to or some part of their life exactly. that they've experienced. It, and it so connects. I mean, it's 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 not just like something that you go, like, oh yeah, I like bobbing to this. You know, you really you really feel it right in the heart. Well, she's got the heart of country, we can tell you right there. When will the project come out? When do we get to hear your debut CD? Um, it's coming soon. My, my single's coming out really soon, um, in May. Uh, and then and then the album will be following that a couple months after. But I, I'm just so excited. Are you going to be on a, on tour afterward? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, we don't have anything set up yet, but I, I can't wait to, to get out on the road and actually get to see the faces of the people who will hopefully be listening. Now, you, you of course, you're still shooting iCarly. Yeah. Are we going to see this side of you on iCarly? Well, it's really a total different different yeah. character because Sam is so different from you in real life. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I think it, you never. I never rule out anything. I don't know, you know, because this is definitely, like you said, the, this is Jeanette, um, whereas my character is, is all about Sam. But I mean, maybe you never know. Maybe Sam will be singing. Will feel like singing country sometimes. That's why you got to tune in to find out. <laughs> yeah, maybe Sam's friend Jeanette will come and visit, and I come on. <laughs> well, we're glad to welcome you to the country. Thank you Jeanette so much. Jeanette McCurdy. And, and be paying uh, attention because we'll let you know when her album is going to be out, too.